Yes, Teresa. Uh, good evening. Uh, I'd like to ask a question. Yes. Um, you know, I am Catholic. Okay. And I like to watch your program. I've been watching your program on TV, and I'm watching uh, at the moment Huda. And uh, the thing is, I'm sorry to say this, but you people don't get baptized. And I read in the Bible that once people don't get baptized, they don't go to heaven. Do you understand? You say that people who do not get baptized will not, baptized. Will not go to heaven? Go? Yes, yes. I read in the Bible, Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. Okay. Remember, then I read in the Bible that Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. What about the Muslims? The Muslims, they don't get baptized. I uh, worry okay. if they don't get saved. I will answer your question, and I hope that you listen um, uh, um, even more to Huda, inshallah. Thank you for calling. Uh, okay, thank you. Must I switch off the phone? I will answer you now. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Teresa from Greece, is asking a very beautiful question. She says that she's a Catholic and she watches uh, Huda TV program and may Allah Azza wa Jal uh, expand her chest and open her heart to the truth and guide her to whatever pleases the creator of the heavens and the earth. And she says that John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ, peace be upon them both as it is stated in the Bible. And she says, why doesn't the Muslims, why don't the Muslims baptize? And I tell her with uh, uh, great pride that it is part of a religion that every single male Muslim is baptized. See, you have almost 1.7 billion Muslims worldwide. And if we say that we have like men are less than women, so if we have 700 million men who are Muslims, I challenge anyone to go and check and he would not find even 0.00001% who are not baptized. This is part of our religion. The Prophet said when a child is seven days old, there are a number of rituals to be performed. One of them is that his hair is shaved, weighed, and we give the weight in silver to charity, to the poor and we slaughter two uh, rams for the baby boy. And we circumcise the boy on the seventh day, and we name him on the seventh day. These are some of the rituals that we do. So I falling that this is definitely part of Islam. You can check it anywhere you want. There is a famous and beautiful website for you to um, visit every now and then. And this site is very well trusted. It is www.islamqa.info. It's very easy, islamqa.info, and it has detailed uh, uh, information uh, about this issue. Thank you for calling, Teresa.